Welcome back. As always, I will start with a key message. Aristotle's concept of actuality, how things are now, and potentiality, what they can be, are crucial for understanding growth and development in living things, including humans. Now over to John. In episode 6 of Awakening from the Meaning Crisis, John Verveke delves into the foundational work of Aristotle and Immanuel Kant in understanding the concepts of potentiality, actuality and moral reasoning. Aristotle's concept of potentiality and actuality involves the realization of an object or organism's potential through the application of a specific form. The concept is still relevant today in the context of character development and the cultivation of virtues. By understanding our potential for growth and development, we can shape ourselves into better individuals through the practice of virtues over time. Kant emphasized the importance of reason and the limits of knowledge, arguing that there are certain aspects of reality that we can never fully understand. However, he also believed that through reason we can discern moral principles that guide our actions and give our lives meaning. Kant's philosophy of morality and ethics is still influential today in understanding the importance of moral reasoning and cultivating ethical behavior. Furthermore, John discusses how the theory of evolution supports the idea of self-organization and growth in living organisms, and how this relates to the pursuit of meaning and wisdom in human life. Living things use feedback cycles to self-organize and develop, and this process of growth and development is related to our pursuit of meaning and wisdom in life by understanding the role of potentiality, actuality, and moral reasoning in our lives, we can cultivate virtues and ethical behavior and pursue a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Now over to me again. One thing I have noted that helped me understand the context of John's ideas is Alasdair McIntyre's philosophical work on the role of virtues in shaping our character. For McIntyre, virtues are not just a set of abstract principles, but they are embodied in communities and traditions. He argues that to truly develop virtues, we must be part of a community that shares a common goal and practices virtues together. This reminds us that character development is not just an individual endeavor, but a collective one that requires a supportive social context. 